Today's podcast is brought to you by Audible.com. Get a free audiobook download and 30-day free trial at www.audibletrial.com slash Cairo Business Mojo. Over 180,000 titles to choose from for your iPhone, Android, Kindle, or MP3 player. Welcome to the Cairo Business Mojo Podcast, where we deconstruct the methods, marketing, and mindset of successful business people and chiropractors from around the world. And now your host, Dr. Richard Day. Yes, I am Dr. Richard Day, and this is the Cairo Business Mojo Podcast. Thanks so much for coming and hanging out with me. Today, we are going to finish up part two of our interview with Mr. Louis Lavella, the branding expert guru extraordinaire. Let's get to it. Cool. Man, that was awesome. I really appreciate it. Yeah, that was great. Thanks for having me on. That was really fun. Yeah, I appreciate it. Your, your assistant uh, is doing a good job for you. Uh, yeah. He or she yeah. emailed me. And... <laughs> yeah, Ibrahim. I, uh, like, I, I listen to a ton of podcasts, like I said. So I, I, uh, I listened. Which one did I listen to of yours? I can't remember the one it was on. Anyways, um, so I have like a list of like podcasts that I go through and stuff and say, look, start contacting these guys and and, and, then, and then start contacting ones that you think fit as well, right? Uh-huh. And, and going out there and seeing if, if they would like to uh, have me on as a guest. I know I'm music and nightlife, but I want to bridge over into doing, you know, not just speaking in regular, um, you know, uh, uh, rooms, but sharing these stories with every business out there. So, you know, having a chiropractic audience is, is cool. I mean, the same stories can resonate with them. Real estate agents I've done and authors and all kinds of different industries that are not just your basic business owner, but the same story holds true everywhere. You know, the same kind of tips, you know, and I think I have a fun angle by being in the entertainment industry. It's just a little bit different. Yeah, that I think that is makes it really fun and, and it's going to draw people in. And, you know, I since I am a chiropractor, I know a lot of chiropractors. And I'll tell you, yeah. they're, what happens is they get a license. They are good at what they do. They go out and practice much like, you know, someone who's, a, I don't know, if they're, they're shoemakers anymore. But, you know, you go out yeah. in your trade and you do it. And before you know it, you're kind of busy, but you never really learned how to be a business person or do much with it. <laughs> right, and right. Suddenly, you, or, or worse, you go out there and... And your business tanks and you're not sure why that happened. So, I mean, yeah. I think branding anymore, you know, Damon John on Shark Tank is a, is a branding expert and uh, people don't realize what's happening with, you know, we didn't talk about it, but personal appearance, every contact mm-hmm. they have with you either in person or on the phone or on the internet is so vital and people are yeah. assessing and really judging, <laughs> you know, yeah. every step of that. Yeah, and that goes down to your branding, right? Your brand voice, but your brand look as well. Yeah. Like you need to be consistent and you have to, yeah, absolutely. And I, that happens everywhere. I feel like even when I did a lot more nightclub and bars, they either were bartenders that you know became managers and thought, oh, I'm going to get daddy's money or a bank loan and open my own bar now. Okay. And then they realized I'm not a business owner there. I, I can operate right. the bar. <laughs> right. I've been, I've, I'm a manager. I can operate, but now I'm not a business guy. And that's like that frustration last summer was like, uh, this, especially when like economics start to shift and there's more competition, you really see who the real business entrepreneurs are out of that industry as well, and who the glorified managers were that had a bank loan. You know what I mean? You yeah. can really see the. You really can't see past. You know what I mean? Like the, the trees of the forest. Ideally, you can't. You can't figure this out, can you? You're here begging for help, and you. And even if I say, look, here's all the info. Do it yourself. I get it. Maybe money's the issue, but you still won't do. There's clubs to this day that have still ten people coming in. And have not taken a single step of action. Even when I sat down with them three times and said, you can just go ahead and do it on your own. I'm, I'm cool with that. There's lots of business out there for me. I have no hard feelings. You know what I mean? Yeah. Maybe money's the issue right now because you're struggling. They didn't do it. They haven't done it. This is a year later. Some of them three years later still haven't taken any, any action to succeed. And they're still in the same spot. We're talking three years of failing stale business. And because they are not entrepreneurial. They're not business owners. You could tell right now, now you guys are glorified managers and you are going to go bankrupt. I'm like, I'm not going bankrupt. Like I have my clients coming in. You're the one going bankrupt. Like, right. <laughs> you know, like, I don't know. Like, do you want me to help you? Not that's, that's your decision. I don't know. What do you want me to do? <laughs> right. Yeah. I, well, I tell you, I would say it's almost more important that, I mean, they are putting the cart before the horse, maybe do some pre-launch for three to six months or yeah. however long, and then have that tribe or following boom, ready to go. Yeah. And you know, the, the, the worst part is when they, when they, did open, let's say, in the end of the 90s or 2000, let's say, as a bar or restaurant, and it, everybody was going out. Like, Netflix wasn't really huge yet. You know, the people, like, if you want to go have a good time, 
we're going to the nightclub. That's what you did, right? There's no streaming Spotify's that, you know, have they listened to radio? You know what I mean? So it was easier. You can have the nights open Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and they're all full. So when they opened then, they thought they were fantastic business people, right? Right, right. And they thought, ah, oh, I'm the best. Yeah, it was easy. Like, close our, we get a promoter to hand out flyers. We'll run a thousand bucks of radio. We're jammed. Awesome. So easy, right? Because the traffic was there. And then everything slipped. And now you can see the ones that are very successful still having two, three strong nights a week are the ones that are real businessmen. They're figuring things out. They change on the fly. They pivot. They're learning their customer. Like, they're hiring social media people that are experts and, you know, doing the right thing. These other guys are still in the same world back in the day, Louis. And I'm like, listen, I don't have a time machine. I can't take you back there. <laughs> right. We're not back in the day. I understand how it worked back in the day. We're not there. So what the hell do you want me to tell you? You know what I mean? It's right. like, <laughs> yep, you can tell they just they don't get it because it was easy back then and they didn't have to really do a lot of work marketing. A lot of them stopped marketing. Oh, we're busy. We'll just let it ride. And that's exactly the same time that it started to slip, hmm. right? They just, they don't put two and two together and it, um, and unfortunately, they will close, right? Because they just they'll go out of business. There's yeah. just no way to sustain it, right? It's, it so. is not. It's not a yellow pages world anymore. It's not at all. People. Yeah, <laughs> it's very segmented and it's noisy. And, and I get that it's frustrating, but that's just where we are. There's yeah. no. Let's see how this plays out. Or and I have some of them saying, you know what? We're not going to do social media right now. We're going to spend fifteen grand on radio and see how it works. And I'm like, okay, but haven't you been doing radio and it hasn't? That's why you called me because radio. Your actual line was, ah, oh, we're sick of radio. Yeah. So why are you going back there wasting 15 grand on radio where you already know in the back of your head it's not going to work? I yeah. don't care. I'll get the 15 grand on, a, on another bar or another you know festival. But I'm like, can't you see what you're doing to yourself? You know this isn't going to work. Yeah. You're, you're just f- hope. You're hoping because it's easy. You write a check. They make the radio ad for you. You don't have to do anything. It goes on air. There's no engagement for you. There's no monitoring social media. It's the easiest way to do marketing, right? And if it works, fantastic. A lot of people still do radio and print and hand out flyers uh, locally, like even for chiropractor. Some of that stuff really works well. Or you get on a radio show. That's awesome. But you got to figure out if it works. And if it works, do it. But if it doesn't, you don't keep doing it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I saw um, uh, Gary V. you mentioned him. And I yeah. saw, I think, one of his deals on uh, Facebook yesterday. And he said someone kept asking him, what's your ROI on social media? What's your ROI? What's your yeah. ROI? I, I don't know if you've seen this one he, where he says, I don't know. What's the ROI on your mother? Yeah, and, yeah. I have saw you that seen one. that? <laughs> yeah. yeah. And it's true, right? Like you can't peg an exact – like there's lots of metrics you can look at and there's lots of that. But sometimes it's not an exact. They clicked here. Then they went here, and then we have a purchase. Yeah. Sometimes it works, especially if you're selling something online, or there's a coupon they come out, you know, and then they bring it in. But that's not how social media works all the time. It's just a branding play, like a billboard. They're not like taking the picture of the billboard and bringing it in to show you, right? right. There's just a billboard, <laughs> and it's like you get brand awareness, and whoa, your face is huge, and billboard, I recognize you, and they might come in eventually. It's all branding, right? So that's really the same thing. And you, yeah, the, the, the mother thing is a great example. Like how do these little things that happened through my life who made me who I am today, how, what's the ROI on those things? Like how do you say, well, okay, so now you need to also, like he says, you know, say your haircut looks good or you know, you know, <laughs> right, things right. like that. Like it's true, right? There's no – that's why a good – Social media person will start to the tactics are one thing, but the creative and the strategy is a whole new ball game. Yeah, I think it's, it's like being a photographer. Anybody can buy a professional camera and say I'm a photographer, but if you don't have the eye to capture the right images, you're not as good as the actual good photographer, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. absolutely. And I think what you're saying, I mean, people, it's kind of hard to get. There's been a sea change in how people are reached now, and people get radio and TV and yeah. social media. Isn't that just you know thumbs up? I like that. You know, so yeah. Well, thanks. You'd be surprised how many people say, we want more likes on our page. I don't care what you do. Make sure our likes grow. And I'm like, look, <laughs> if likes literally, I never do this, then go to Fiverr and get likes. Like, really, you're not doing this right at all. <laughs> yeah, like, exactly. yeah, they're going to be u- useless likes. And I said, listen, if you build a real campaign and have brand awareness, you're going to get likes residually because they'll find, they'll see the ad, and they'll say, oh, I don't like the page the page yet i'll like it now but even then is that like they're not likes don't make sales at all you know like it's not that's not the metric you want to look at like just because you have it's perception looks good but then like i said go to fiverr and buy two thousand likes they mean nothing anyways (laughs) it's similar if you want the perception to look okay i get that part and that's part of a brand maybe and that's a cool thing but that's not your only thing that you're going after what about the actual 
campaign. Like, you know, let's get them into the office. Let's get them buying a ticket. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. From what I understand, <laughs> Facebook looks at that, the metrics. They, they do. Go, they have a 1,000 yeah. likes, but zero engagement? Mm, not Maybe they're not. fake. Let's not give them any <laughs> engagement. Yeah, then, then you're stuck, right? Yeah, yeah. Well, wow. Uh, well, right. thanks for uh, giving me an interview plus a little more. Is it okay if I use uh, some of what we talked about? I think it's all valuable. hundred percent. Yeah, a hundred percent. All right. Well, have a great day. Thanks so much again for your time. Thank you so much. We'll keep in touch. All right, man. Sounds good. Take care. Bye. Bye Bye-bye. Psst. Hey, this is Dr. Day. I hope you are enjoying the show. If you are, please do us a favor and jump on over to iTunes to subscribe, rate, and review. Thanks. Thanks for listening to the Cairo Business Mojo Podcast at www.cairobusinessmojo.com. 